Hi, welcome to Nokia's 5G Technology Experience Center in Budapest. My name is Gábor Csordás, and in the next couple of minutes, I've introduced the most important topics related to Nokia's core network product security. Security is an non-negotiable requirement which must be built into our products. This mindset is clearly driven by multiple factors, such as regulatory requirements, security assurance frameworks like ENTAC and NESAS. Also, there is a significant mindset shift towards zero trust and improved expert knowledge level on operators and vendors' side. To satisfy these requirements, security must be integrated into our products in the development and build phases, also covering the delivery chain using integrating state-of-the-art security techniques in the design, implementation and verification. And after delivering our Nokia products and solutions, this security level has to be maintained by predicting and reacting to new vulnerabilities which appeared after the delivery. Traditional SVM processes are purely reactive. This reactive approach is being transformed to be a special combination of being reactive and preventive. Based on Nokia's experience and industry trends, the four most important pillars of product security are and expected to remain in the upcoming years. Software vulnerability management, hardening, runtime security, and SaaS security. Of course, there are additional areas like the functional or business logic security driven primarily by the 3GPP standardization bodies. Now, let's jump to the details of those four main pillars, starting with the SVM. Most of commercial software products are using some open source software components. On one hand, it's very effective. On the other hand, it's increasing the complexity of a maintenance from security point of view. For the open source based operating systems, container management systems, web servers, databases, and other components, new vulnerabilities are continuously appearing also after the software has been delivered. Therefore, the delivered vulnerability-free product immediately starts inflating itself because of the new discovered vulnerabilities in the open source components. Such an uncontrollable inflation can be eliminated only by a quick and efficient reaction by applying improved SVM processes. Mitigation of open source vulnerabilities is also coming through community channels. This causes heavy dependency on external community-driven factors. One of the ways how these challenges are addressed is the efficient software architecture and topology. Namely that the open source based and potentially most vulnerable building blocks are centralized and isolated on code and runtime level. The second pillar of product security is the hardening and widening of the verification scope. Compliance to standards and de facto standards like CIS is essential but not sufficient anymore. Hardening and its verification must include penetration testing, API testing and certification based on additional country or other area specific requirements that is being executed for all Nokia Core products. Runtime security as the third pillar also gets special attention. This allows instant monitoring and reaction in the live systems, also covering the visualization of security threats. Such an endpoint protection-like solution can protect both the infrastructure and the network function layers in an efficient way. Last but not least, SaaS sets new security-related requirements for the telecom vendors. In software as a service setup, the vendor also becomes responsible for running and operating the live core networks Therefore, the vendor is liable for the operational security of the system. Security is an essential part of the Nokia Core SaaS solution, including all the previously listed pillars. Having reviewed the most essential pillars of core security and taking into account additional technology dictated drivers, it's Nokia's clear mission to build and operate secure and unbreakable core networks. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for more on this topic.